So I'm going to talk about the TCP three-way handshake in this video. Now, why is it important for uh, you know cybersecurity enthusiasts? Because later on, when I talk about Nmap, this three-way handshake is going to help you understand the working of that tool in a much better manner. So, what is three-way handshake? So. Three-way handshake comes from a protocol which is known as TCP. TCP is a layer 4 protocol, which means that it is working on the transport layer of the OSI model. This layer helps you understand the purpose of the communication because all the layers below it are hardware layers. Yes, you're right. I'm talking about network layer, data link layer and physical layer, which help you in moving the data within a network or between different networks, but they don't really explain what kind of communication is going to be used. So what we do in the transport there is we have different phases. So the first phase of the communication is the three way handshake. In the three way handshake, what you would do is you would have a client and a server. So the client sends a send segment. It's like you asking someone what kind of services are they providing, right? So you go to an ice cream parlor and you ask them what kind of ice cream flavors do they have? Now the server responds back with a send segment and an act segment. Now let's talk about the act segment first. In the act segment, they would acknowledge the message sent by the client. And then in their send segment, they would describe the kind of services that they are providing. For example, uh, if you talk about an ice cream parlor, the server is going to talk about the ice cream flavors that they have, how much they are going to cost and so on. Now, in a real world scenario, a server would be explaining what kind of services they are providing. For example, HTTP on port 80, HTTPS on port 443, SSH, Telnet and many others. Now, if the client wants to proceed with the communication, then eventually they are going to send an act segment, which will mark the end of the three way handshake. Now let's talk about why this is important in cybersecurity. So when you work with a tool called Nmap, Nmap is basically a port scanner. Nmap scans for open ports and services. So the default way of Nmap is it will send the server the send segment, the server will reply back with the send and act, and then it won't proceed further at all. It will not complete the three way handshake. It will ghost the server. Now, why would a client do that? The client would do that in order to understand the services provided by the server that are available. So it helps attackers or pen testers to perform reconnaissance. So more about Nmap in another video. So this video was about the three-way handshake. So that's all for this video. Thank you and see you in the next video. Take care.